morning. I just figure I'll make a, like, kind of been making these videos, and I'm thinking I'm gonna go through and uh, make a video for each one of the second tier stories. The website is designed into three tiers, you know, the main menu there that you can see on every page with home and business and computer and website and artisan and speech, that's the main menu. And then each one of those sections has a list underneath of it. And most of those items on each one of those lists has a list under them, which is where their stories are. And I figure I'll make a list you know, make a video for each one of the second tier stories. And so I'll start with business planning. Um, writing, planning your business is important. You gotta write down your goals, write your goals down, start by writing your goals. And, um, you know, writing them down kind of, solidifies them within your own subconscious mind. It's a really important um, part of creating your business. And you want to write down your plan. And then you write down your goals. And, you know, and it could be on anything, you know. And then later you, you write a natural business plan. And it really serves the same purpose, which is to get the plan in your own subconscious mind so that you follow it and you make progress towards achieving your goals. And so when you write down your goals, you know, write down your your short-term goals, medium, you know, and long-term goals. And then uh, make your, uh, when you write your business plan, you know, there's a format, you've got your executive summary and your financial documents and all that, and you want to write that stuff down and write your financial, your your executive summary you want to write last after you've done all the other work. And that, that way your plan is fresh in your mind and you can write that two-page executive summary. The other aspects of your business plan are, uh, you know, uh, you want to, your business description and vision, you want to kind of talk about what your vision is, you know, what your plan is, what, you know, what's your main, you know, philosophy and stuff like that. And write that down. And then your business, your uh, definition of your market is where you're going to write down stuff you know what it, we, you know you have to investigate the market that you're going to be working with and you know and then describe that in your business plan and the, 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 that has to be you want this to be pretty realistic you know you want to just imagine you're going to be taking this to a banker even though that's not necessarily the main point of it the main point of it is is to get it in your own subconscious mind but you can use it to go talk to bankers and lawyers, investors, and whatever. And, um, you know, you want to uh, do your homework, investigate. What is the market? Is, is your idea realistic? You know, is it going to make, is there a market for it? Is it, is it uh, are you going to be able to compete? You know, I mean, you're, you know, you got to think, are you competing against, you know, huge corporations or what, you know, because it's like in order for your home office based business to be successful, you have to take into consideration that you got big giant corporations that are making some pretty high quality stuff. In order to compete in that market, you're going to have to create something really valuable. And that's, you know, and you need to write about that. You need to investigate it and look at the thing and make see if what your idea is is it, is it realistic and write write that down and then the uh, and then write down a description of your products and service what is it that you're selling you know and uh, you know and, and put a pretty detailed description of it you know what does it cost to produce it 
Um, is it a physical object or is it information? You know, is it, is, it, is there any, you know, what's it take to, to get it, you know, and then deliver it? And then, uh, how's your company organized? Is it just, a, is it your family? You know, because that's kind of the way I kind of recommend is that you get your family to work on this business. You know, your, your husband and wife and kids and all working together on the business. Each one's going to have different talents and you work together to make pro make a profit and earn a profit and you got but you got to be creative you got to create something valuable for other people you know and uh, like I said the world is kind of dominated by these big corporations so you have to take that into consideration and you got to but there's a lot of home office you know there's small businesses is still a big part of the economy also so work on that and create and you got to tell that story each one of these you know is going to be a story each one of these sections you know executive summary business description and vision definition of the market description of products and services you know each, write a story about each one you know, make it interesting, entertaining, educational, and uh, the organization, the management, and then the marketing and your sales strategy, your sales and marketing strategy. How are you going to offer, present your offering? How are you going to trade it? How are you going to uh, attract an audience? How are you going to sell your stuff? whatever your product is and your service and um, how, how you plan on doing that and write that story down you know make a story and put in digital you know information you know like less of here's how much it's going to cost to do this and that and, and make it neat and you know well organized story you know that you're telling and your uh, your financial management you know, how are you going to organize your f f cash flow and, you know, keep that stuff organized? You know, you want to have uh, your, your, your you know, cash flow statements, your income and expense statements, your um, profits and losses statements, you know, and you want to keep these up to date, you know, you want to create these documents in the first place, and they're going to be uh, some kind of a system on your computer, you're probably using, you know, LibreOffice, Calc, you know, a bunch of spreadsheets, and you keep that up to date. Every time you sell something, you add that in there, and Every time you buy something, you enter it into the, you know, the ledger, you know, you got whatever your system is. You, you can build your own system or you can buy one, you know, from, there's ones for sale, like, uh, where's that? Uh, anyway, you can buy them. programs that are for business, you know, and you, but I, I recommend building your own, create your own using, uh, um, LibreOffice or OpenOffice. I noticed OpenOffice is back now. And uh, so you can use either one of those. Or you can even use Microsoft, uh, you know. Uh, what is that? Uh, I can't remember. I never can remember the names of things I'm thinking of when I'm doing this. But anyway, um, it's probably a good thing. Anyway, you know, make your, create your, your financial system and how you're gonna get paid. You wanna create a funnel, a sales funnel, where you're attracting people and you're repeating the same thing over and over again and getting more and more customers and they're going into the funnel and, and you know, you'll get a certain percentage of them will actually buy stuff. And um, what are you gonna get paid? How are you gonna get paid? And stuff like that and design that. And then your apprentice is, it's just other data that you want about, you know, like say your resume. You know, you might want to put your resume in the, in the appendices and stuff like that, other information like that. You know, have a little 
introduction to each one of the members of your team. You know, because they could be your family and it could just be friends too. You know, you don't necessarily, it can, you can do this with family or friends or some combination thereof. And so you, you do that. That's like, you want to do that pretty early in your process and uh, get that written and uh, keep the, your cash flow is, you know, monitor that and keep track of it and count, you know, accounting is a valuable skill. You gotta learn accounting. It's not, I've never really been all that interested in money. Uh, and so I'm not all that good at accounting because I don't think about that, but that's kind of a bad habit. And I'm trying to work on improving that about myself. And you need to do that, or you know, unless you're already doing it. Get good at accounting and account for your income and your expenses and plan your business and you know and writing this plan down and the process of writing it will get it in, in, into your subconscious mind and you will as you go along you'll make decisions and take actions that lead you toward you know completing your plan and that's how why it's so important to create a, a, your business plan you know, and then if you need to or want to, you can use it to, to go see it to a banker or a lawyer or anybody else that, where you need to sit and explain to them, here's my plan and, you know, I need some help or about something, you know, a loan or anything like that. You know, and keep working on it. It's going to evolve over time. You want to come back to it, like, say, once a year or whatever and go over your plan and update it and refine it and make it better, improve it, and just keep doing that, keep working on it. And uh, it's, you know, self-determination is, is a good thing. Free enterprise, you know, in order to be free, you have to be disciplined. Self-discipline is, is important you know self-discipline self-determination that kind of stuff comes from taking responsibility for yourself responsibility means ability to respond and you can improve your ability to respond to whatever circumstances arise by writing a business plan and having that entered into your subconscious mind you know, which makes it possible for you to respond to whatever is going on in your business. You know, you got to start thinking of your as a business. It's a business, and you got to be. You know, it's like you don't necessarily want that to be the. the you want your spirituality to be the most the, the center of your life, but your business is an important part of your life and your family and your home. You got to get up every day and go to work, and work on producing something valuable. Being productive, you have, you know, you have to be productive to be healthy. You know, not uh, being productive is not healthy. And so keep working on it, and uh, write your plan down, and work on that plan every single day. You know, except on holy days, you want to take your holy days off and focus on your spirituality, but. Other than that, work every day and be productive, make something valuable, and trade it in our one worldwide free marketplace. And it's uh, what's coming up next. I, you know, nobody knows. I don't know, but I, I kind of, I grew up on a farm, and so I'm kind of trying to t teach you to create your own private free enterprise because that's what I want to do. And. Um, I'm not all that smart about it, but you know I haven't don't have a ton of success. I've been working on this for a long time, but I'm just working on it. You know, it's what I want to do. I want to. I want this website to be a valuable. I want holistic, you know, holistic home office, and, which is the homeoffice.studio website, to be a valuable, entertaining education. So thanks for watching and
listening and uh, have a great day. Thank you.